do you think Jesus wants to um, say to you, hey bride, I'm looking forward to the wedding reception, but just before the wedding reception, I'm going to take you through the most horrific time on the planet where you're going to go through persecution, you're going to be martyred maybe, you're going to be killed, you're going to go through the most horrific time, pillaged, raped, taken advantage of in every way possible, just before the wedding. Then we're going to have a wedding. No. That's insane. No, 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 no. In fact, the Bible says the complete opposite. In Revelation 3.10, I'll keep you from the hour of tribulation. It's going to come upon the whole world. In fact, Jesus says in Ephesians 5, 26 and 27, that I'm going to wash you with the water of my word, the life of my word. I'm going to remove every spot, wrinkle, and blemish, and I'm going to present you to myself a glorious church. When he comes back for the church, the church is going to be raised up glorious. We're going to go from glory. That's the season we're in right now, church. We're in a season where the glory of God is going to descend over this planet and upon his church specifically. That's why do not be afraid and restrain the spirit of Antichrist that is working through agendas all over this planet to set up the framework for the Antichrist one day to be revealed. So it tells you that, yeah, no question, we're at the end time like never before. We're no question at that time. But it's the most exciting time because God wants you and I to get out there and get busy about the Father's business. It's about the blessed hope and getting people. The Great Commission is more important. See, they thought Jesus was going to be returning really quickly back then too in the book of Acts. That's what they're all preparing. Paul was right. They're like, he's coming back. Some people said he already returned. That's why Paul addressed all this stuff. He says, no, the, the, the Antichrist must be revealed first. Uh, you know, before the Lord comes back in the Mount of Olives, you haven't missed him and everybody's going to see him. That's why he addressed all that stuff. He goes, well, we must be removed out of the way first. Well, here's the deal. They were looking forward to it. And what were they doing? Preaching the gospel. Getting people born again. Advancing the kingdom. Spreading the kingdom all over the world. Discipling nations. How much more should we be doing that today? Think about it. We should be doing that today as well. Amen? And here's, the, here's what God's about to do. His glory is about to come upon his house. That's why it's important to get in the house of God. It's important to understand that God wants you in his house. In the midst of shakings, we're in a period of shakings all over the world. Economic shakings, political shakings, nation is shaking. And while there's shakings going on, God's saying, get into my house. Because I'm coming to the house. My wealth is coming in the house. My glory is coming in the house. And it's going to come out of my house and flow to the nations. And the nations are going to come in. The harvest is going to come into the house. This is, one of the, this is a time of great harvest.